Now let us discuss question number 11 from exercise 16.4 chapter 16. A chord of circle is equal to radius of the circle. Find the angle subtended by it at point on the minor arc and also point on the major arc. Now moving on to solution. Consider a circle with center O and AB is the chord whose length is equal to the radius that is equal to some r. Now join OA and OB and also OA will be equal to OB that is r radius. Consider a point P on the major arc and join AP and PB. Also consider Q on the minor arc and join AQ and QB. Now here, consider in triangle OAB. In triangle OAB, we know that OA is equal to OB is equal to AB whose lengths are equal to radius. Therefore here, this triangle is equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, we know that each and every angle is equal to 60 degrees. The angle subtended by the chord at the center will be equal to 60 degrees that is Angle AOB is equal to 60 degrees. We know that angle subtended by the chord at the center will be double the angle subtended by the chord in its minor arc. Therefore here angle AOB is equal to 2 times angle APB which implies angle APB is equal to half times angle AOB that is half times 60 degrees which is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore the angle subtended by chord in the major segment is 30 degrees. Therefore angle on the point on major arc is 30 degrees. And also we know that angle subtended at the point on the minor arc will be double the angle subtended by it in the major arc. Therefore here angle AQB will be equal to 2 times angle APB that is equal to 2 times 30 degrees which is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore we can say angle made by the chord at the point on minor arc is 60 degrees.